Hello, everybody. It's May 21st, uh, about 12.30 a.m., just after midnight. I just came across something. I wanted to do a quick video and be busy this weekend. I have a, an event for my wife for her business. So we have a festival, and I'm supposed to be up at like 5, so i got to get to sleep, at least get four hours of sleep here. But I came across this, and I had to do a little research on it. I, I ran into the pantry, and sure enough... It's different from just a few weeks ago when I bought a bottle of Bragg's apple cider vinegar. I use it for health benefits for my kids. My daughter just drank some the other day for a cough she's having. Uh, I use it. I've gotten their temperatures down, you know, two, three degrees numerous times. My son and daughter to avoid emergency room when they had like 104 temperature, you know, getting near that critical uh, point as a child, I think maybe 104, 105, you need to head off to the emergency room. Well, I've gotten it down to 102. And with this, you know, on rags wrapped around their wrists and ankles. So, anyway, this has changed everyone from my previous reality. It was different. Now, it seems like it just recently changed. I don't know. I saw a video where a guy said he knew it was Braggs with apostrophe S on the end. I'm going to show you some stuff real quick. I want to show you this. I'm going to put these videos down below. J.C. Penny, like a six to one ratio. People remember the Penny without the E. And so it's been a popular video here. I'm going to link all these down below. You got Pennzoil. I only remember one N. And apparently 126 people agree with me. Only 25 said no. And they've, you know, they live in this reality where it's always been two. Uh, Korea is like a two to one ratio. Not as many people are familiar with the location of of that, uh, let's see, Kit Kat with a dash, 325 said, yeah, there was a dash. 58 said, no, never remember a dash. So I'll put these, this is gonna be number five of the voting videos. You know, I've been thinking about a lot about this. Um, there's other videos on my channel if you wanna look for them, Geography Changed. Uh, there's a group that's putting together an earth from how they all remember it, which is what I remember. So that'll be interesting to see. Uh, Great Awakening, I've been talking about this for years on my channel, a global shift in consciousness, and to actually have the shift, you know, happening now just blows me away totally, but this was going to happen, and so you can look at it from many different angles, from a religious perspective, spiritual perspective, uh, the ancients knew this was coming, a lot of people think this is CERN, could be, don't know, um, my first videos got a lot of views, 45,000. And so this has a lot of the people saying, oh, I just can't remember shit and all that. Uh, they're coming across this video here. But anyhow, let's get on with the brags real quick here. I remember the apostrophe S. Uh, just um, the guy, I forget the name of the guy I was watching this video. He had the amino acid uh, brag product. And there's little arrows here now, just like the arrow on the Volvo. There's little arrows here in the G's that he didn't remember. I don't remember if those are there or not. I just remember apostrophe S. I've been buying this product now for quite a few years. It was always Bragg's apple cider vinegar. And it's Bragg's to a lot of other people, as you're going to see here in just a moment. So here we go. Uh, let's go through this real quick. Uh, bring the speaker over here. And here we go. Here's Patricia Bragg. She's the daughter-in-law and later adopted daughter of Paul Bragg, who started the business with all the elixirs and everything. So here she is. And uh, just listen to this here real quick. Let me turn it up. Kill it. Boil it. Filter it. Not Bragg's. It's unfiltered. Not Bragg's. Did you hear that? Not Bragg's. Why is she calling it Bragg's? I mentioned that I'm taking um, Bragg's apple cider vinegar. Bragg's apple cider vinegar. Oh, I wonder why she doesn't call it Bragg apple cider vinegar. That's always been its name. And we'll come over here. Welcome YouTube, this is the Velvet Locks with another video. And in this video, I will be talking to you about the side effects of Bragg's apple cider vinegar. Bragg's with an S with an S. I didn't point that out. Even here, Bragg's apostrophe S as I remember it here on the video with Patricia Bragg. And we have another one here. Listen up. And the product is Bragg's organic apple cider vinegar. Bragg's organic. 
And we have this guy here. And today I'm going to be talking about Bragg's apple cider vinegar. He's going to talk about Bragg's apple cider vinegar. And then we have this guy here. What's he going to be talking about? Apple cider vinegar. Today I'm showing you the Bragg's apple cider vinegar. I know He's showing us the Bragg's apple cider vinegar. So anyway, you know, it could just make it plural because there's a bunch of enzymes in the bottle. You know, more than one enzyme because uh, it has the mother in there. And uh, I don't know. I mean, depends. Yeah, okay. If you buy one depend, then it's depend. And so people say, well, there's a bunch of diapers in the bag. So they, people just say, you know, you got to go buy some depends for great grandma there or whatever. Because they've got to buy more than one. Well, here there's only one bottle of apple cider vinegar. So why are they calling it Bragg's? I don't know. Maybe because the, the, fa the Bragg's family? The Paul's last name is Bragg, Paul Bragg. So this is his product, Bragg. <laughs> but I, I don't know. <laughs> I remember Bragg's, everybody. Please thumb this up. If you remember Bragg's with an apostrophe S, maybe you never heard of this product, please don't vote if you're not aware. Please thumb this down if you're from this reality where it's always been Bragg and where Patricia Bragg says Bragg's <laughs> with an S. Uh, anyway. Oh, this is just so bizarre, everyone. I also watched a video today where somebody was, some guy in Australia was saying that the Mandela effect was crashing the internet in Australia. I'll try and look for that video and, and link it up. He's saying that so many people are searching for the Mandela effect. I think that's what the guy, the technical support guy told him on the phone. So many people are searching for the Mandela effect that they're crashing the internet. So I don't know. This is big news, everybody. And it's an incredible thing that's happening. I was talking to my mom about it tonight. I, I don't know if she wants to really hear about it anymore. I mean, she kind of on board, you know, she kind of thinks something's weird. And I just said, you know, there's no more Arctic circle. There's just the Arctic ocean. There never was a North pole, you know, with a land mass or, or a ice cap. You know, there was a cap on the top. It's called the Arctic circle. That's where Santa Claus was. You know, the, the fairy tale story of Santa Claus that I was told as a kid, he, you know, he was on the North Pole. He wasn't on the South Pole in Antarctica, which he'd have a lot of places to set up shop down there. But no, he was on the North Pole. Well, there is no North Pole. Apparently, my whole life, there's never been one. It's just the Arctic Ocean. And some people like to say, oh, well, you know, global warming and it melted. And, uh, I wasn't aware the, the Arctic ice cap melted here in the last couple, ten, couple decades. Uh, anyhow, I guess that's about it. Um... I will be doing more videos next week, maybe even a financial one, which is what this channel started out as. But it's just too incredible to just leave alone, everyone. I mean, I'm going to try and keep putting out information. I'm going to try and do more videos where I talk about the effect and you know what I think is happening rather than just pointing out. I'm doing these pointing out videos of the different things now. Um, I was had somebody point out Tabasco sauce I kind of remember Tabasco T-O-B and then kind of remember T-A-B I don't know if that's a Mandela effect or not just kind of seems like it was T-O-B but apparently it's T-A-B always has been Tabasco I just remember Tabasco with a T-O-B but anyway that's a, a side note but brags yeah so please thumb up if you remember apostrophe S talk to y'all soon everybody uh one last thought please try and stay grounded if you're new to this um you know i understand it's easy to say it's hard to just ignore this if you just realize your whole reality's shifted but um this has been coming for a long time the ancients knew this was coming they knew when the new when the great year started which is what the mayan calendar was all about the ending of of the mayan calendar the great year was starting a uh, new 25,920, I think, year cycle of the 12 ages. So the age of Pisces is ending and the age of Aquarius is starting. And the age of knowing, that's Aquarius, the age of knowing. The veil's being lifted, everyone. The old paradigm, the old, the old control system, the money system, the political system, it's all coming down. The controllers are going to be brought down. And people are awakening to what's really going on. And this here is all part of it. This here awakening and this um, consciousness shifting. It's, you know, 
nothing is being changed. No one's going and putting